very, and again, data helps a lot there. It helps you see, well, you know, your performance is this. We have all this tracking of, of you know, on the editorial side especially, we can tell how many people are viewing your things, how engaging is it, is, are people positive or negative sentiment about what you're writing, which audiences you, are you bringing in, and are you, you know, so you can do a lot more around, and, and I think a lot more decision making is just going to the data. And, and, and just building on that, Johanna, if I may, I think you, you, were, you, were, you mentioned the annual review, and um, to me it's, it's dead, uh, because this generation, millennials love feedback, it's probably the, the, the thing that they have, uh, you know, experienced the most on uh, comments. And well, I like. I think they like positive feedback. Yeah, like well, <laughs> usually um. people tend to prefer positive feedback, but uh, I, I, I would say that um, we have to. I think we have to give to millennials feedback much more often than we used to. You're not going to wait for the annual review to give feedback on what they're doing, especially if they are they are working on projects that are like three months or six months, you know. Uh, so I think this is a very important point in terms of management for um, the, the people in my organization. I, I keep saying, please give feedback, honest feedback, um, positive or constructive, because <laughs> if, if it's negative, it can be constructive. Yeah, uh, that's, that's code for negative. <laughs> <laughs> that's constructive. No, but you know, I mean, there are ways to do it. 